Well, somebody's got to explain to me how the Chinese communists are able to have a secret police station in the heart of New York City. Really? So with me to try to figure all this out, New York Congresswoman Claudia Tenney. Claudia, welcome back to the show. I, two people were busted. Uh, 44 others were charged. They're not in the country. They were indicted. China's like running its... Actually, I wonder if the China police force is better than the New York City police force under Alvin Bragg. That's kind of a cheap shot, but you know where I'm going. I mean, what is up with this Chinese story? How is this possible? Yeah, look at... When you're an authoritarian regime, Communist Party has to control uh, where its people are, where they're going, who they are. Chinese nationals, they're probably tracking them all over the world. And New York City is a place where you can get lost. And by the way, the New York Police Department is excellent. Alvin Bragg is terrible. Well, we'll just leave it at that. Uh, and he's the district attorney in New York County. He's not the police department. He probably isn't prosecuting, what, 52% of the felonies that the New York Police Department are bringing him. But this is what authoritarian regimes do. I remember when I lived in the former Yugoslavia and I was studying abroad and we had some Soviet Union uh, members, people who were just citizens, attending a class that I was in and they had their minders with them because the Soviet Union tracked their foreign nationals all around the world to pre prevent defections, to find out if they were spying and cheating. This is the kind of stuff you have in communist regimes. And this is why the Chinese are so good at not just infiltrating with the Chinese uh, spy craft that went across the United States, Think about TikTok. Every time we take a click or we log on to TikTok, they're doing surveillance on our citizens as well, unwittingly, and we allow all this to happen. Now look at our open border. Guess who's coming across the open border? Now that anybody can come across, they're risking that too. So we're seeing Chinese nationals coming across the border. And we have to be careful because it's not just Chinese uh, nationals and pot potentially uh, people from all over the world. There are 160 different nations uh, nationalities coming across our border, including the northern border, which stretches across uh, part of my district in upstate New York. So it's a problem, and it's something that they do. You've got to keep control over people, and that's what they're doing. They're not only do using these people su for surveillance, they could be double agents. Who knows? I mean, this is but, where we need to get on top of this. I, look, I don't know everything there is to know about these Chinese police stations, but they busted two people. They set a reasonable bail, I guess. But to me, this is espionage. Why did they let them go at all? Why didn't they just hold them? Yeah, you, you have to ask that question of Alvin Bragg in, in New York City. Yes. And why isn't our Department of Justice prosecuting these people? Well, that's Joe Biden's Department of Justice. Why are we prosecuting and attacking parents who are going to their school districts wanting accountability, but yet we're not prosecuting Hunter Biden on his laptop, the uh, connection between Hunter Biden and President Biden and his family, and they're leveraging their positions in government to be rich and to work with the Chinese Communist Party. These are real serious questions. This is why our Department of Justice has no credibility under Merrick Garland right now, and why Joe Biden needs to be held accountable on these things. This is a huge problem, and uh, this is why people are enraged and upset. Nothing's happening. Can I just um, jump ship quickly to one other item? <laughs> right, I can't help myself. So you've got this EPA tailpipe emissions policy, which, first of all, is going to end internal combustion engines and cars as we know it. No votes. It's just going to end the whole car business. But second of all, Claudia, as you know, this is a gift to China. This is a bailout China bill because China has all the minerals for the batteries for all the electric vehicles that we're supposedly either going to have or not have. So we're getting rid of gas cars. Nobody voted on that. And we're giving the money to China. I don't get that. I mean, the police stations are bad. In some ways, this is worse. Yes, it is worse. It's catastrophic. I, want, I don't want to say worse. It's catastrophic. Our energy policy is going to be a disaster. This is happening in New York State as well, with the New York State legislature and California and states like that. There is nothing wrong with fossil fuels. In fact, they can be lifesavers. We're seeing, uh, you know, my district is one of the largest agricultural districts. We depend on fossil fuels to produce the food. Uh, we, we need to have still uh, fuel-driven cars that aren't going to be just electric. And when you talk about the rare earth minerals, and, uh, and some of this, the specialty uh, metals that we need to do batteries, to create them. A lot of that we can do here, and they're found here, and they're far, found in parts of the world. But China still does the processing. We haven't brought that technology back here and gotten the upstart on there. So why aren't we investing in that type mm. of technology? And why aren't we using a strategy that gives us the best 
a logical choice for whatever it is we need energy for. Energy is going to be our key to prosperity. It's what makes the difference in the economy. Mm -hmm. And by the way, this energy policy of Joe Biden with the huge tax credits that came in the Green New Deal, I don't like to call it the Inflation Reduction Act because inflation hasn't gone down. This is the Green New Deal. That's the way the Democrats touted it. And you're seeing energy contributing at least 30 percent to inflation. You know, come to upstate New York. We don't have public transportation. You got to drive your car to get to work. Mm. So this is going to be devastating and catastrophic for middle and low income taxpayers, for businesses, for all of yep. us. And you're dead right on that, Larry. This is a huge problem. I know it's a huge problem. And in addition to all that, China benefits, which drives me crazy. Anyway, more mm -hmm. to be revealed. Claudia Tenney, thank you ever so much. We appreciate it. Take care. Thank you. Great